Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. I was not expecting to talk about the Epic Game Store today, but they are offering three games next week, so I want to give you guys a heads up on that. Remember, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep is available free right now, but next week they've got three freebies dropping, so that's pretty exciting. And we have an update on PCSX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator reaching a pretty major milestone. More on that at the end of this video. But yes, right now Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep and and the Rogue Company Epic Pack, if you're interested in that, are free on the Epic Game Store. Not here to talk about that. Rather, we'll talk about the offerings next week, which include three games. So that is a very, very big offering for Epic Game Standards. Um, typically, you'll see one game, maybe two on some of the better weeks. But uh, yeah, three games next week. One of them is a new release that looks to be a trippy experience, to say the least. But more on that in just a little bit. But first of all, you're going to be getting Guild of Dungeoneering, which dropped in 2015. The game has 1,383 Steam user reviews, 75% positive. A turn-based dungeon crawler with a twist. Instead of controlling the hero, you build the dungeon around them. Play the demo right now on Steam if you do want that. Game typically goes for $19.99, but will be available uh, free on the Epic Game Store next week. Also, next week, you'll be getting Kid Amnesia Exhibition. So, this is a throwback celebrating... Uh, uh, to commemorate 20 years of uh, 21 years, excuse me, of Radiohead's Kid A and Amnesiac coming in November 2021, November 18th. So that's going to be available free next week. Looks like a pretty trippy first person exploration game. A lot of interesting artwork there as well. So that'll be available next week. And then you'll also get Never Alone, which was a game that dropped a while ago, but uh, that'll be free as well. That was received pretty well. So pretty good offering there. $14.99, uh, an atmospheric platformer with a pretty cool art style as well uh, platformer uh, on top of that it does have cooperative play if you do want to uh, take part in that game typically goes for 15 bucks but will be free on the Epic Game Store next week so all that is dropping next week right now they are running like a Ubisoft sale as well if you want to check that out so uh, yeah I know a lot of you guys don't buy games on EGS but nevertheless the free game offerings are pretty solid okay moving on from that PCSX2 put out a tweet and I kind of just want to talk about this for nostalgia shakes. Uh, if you guys don't know, PCSX2 is the premier PlayStation 2 emulator. They tweeted out slightly late to the party, but we officially reach menus on all games except one that we know of, which needs a special controller emulation. Plus, all known games at least show something. This is a celebratory moment for PlayStation 2 emulation. If you guys don't know, PCSX2 is a tremendous emulator. When I got into PC gaming way back, and uh, I didn't have a lot of ideas of like how far emulation actually goes, but when I discovered PCSX2, my mind was blown at the thought of just having access to nearly every PlayStation 2 game uh, at a whim. And then... I remember well, the first game that I really got into uh, using PCSX2, like I had tried a lot of games, but the first one that I actually sat down and played uh, start to finish was Final Fantasy X, iconic game, of course. At that point, the uh, the collection wasn't out on PC. Um, so I'm playing Final Fantasy X, and uh, it was a great time. It worked perfectly fine. And then I probably got, I want to say like eight to nine hours into it. And funny story, I was like, you know what? Let me like tinker around with the PCSX2 settings. Bear in mind, at this point, I'm playing Final Fantasy X with like the regular base settings. It looks uh, pretty much identical to the PlayStation 2 version. And then I go into the settings and I'm like, wait a second, you can mess around with the resolution. Wait a second, you can increase the internal resolution. What, what, what is this 4X meme on the internal resolution? What, what is this going to do? And then I increase the resolution. I was like, Holy hell, the game looks a billion times better, and that blew my mind even more. Now, bear in mind, this is while I'm like 15, 16 years old, so like I didn't have a clue about emulators to that extent. I knew, it, you know, at a fundamental level what they were, but I didn't know how far you could take it and make games look so much better than they initially did, and then that made my Final Fantasy X playthrough even better. I played so many games on PCSX2. Played Tales of the Abyss on PCSX2. I played uh, Dragon Ball Z, like Budokai, on there. And, like, people, I believe, modded the hell out of Budokai on PC through PCSX2. So, there's some really cool stuff. And uh, I always remember that the one game that, the one prominent game that would, you know, bring PCs to its knees back then was, like, Shadow of the Colossus. That game was, like, incredibly difficult to run with the PS2 emulator. But, um, yeah, I played it on the PS2 emulator. And I, ha I was able to run it fairly well. And I believe at the the time I had an i5 3570k overclocked to 4.2 I believe that was yeah that was the CPU I was using back then um 
But yeah, a lot of great memories with PCSX2, and great to see another emulator making strides on PC. And again, if you have not used emulators at all, PCSX2, Dolphin, RPCS3 is making a lot of progress as well, in my opinion. Um, the One of, if not the best element to me of PC gaming is emulation, just because literally opens the floodgates to being able to play um, you know, thousands upon thousands of games. You can go back and play PS1 games with, um, I forget the emulator's name off the top of my head. I literally have it installed on my PC, but yeah, going back and playing some of the great PS1 games, Legend of Dragoon, games like that, um, Super Nintendo, all that good stuff. And Dolphin is a remarkable emulator, tremendous, tremendous emulator with what they've done there. And PCSX2, tremendous in its own right. But that's going to do it for me. Again, Epic Games store will be dropping three freebies next week november 18th to the 25th never alone uh you'll get a guild of dungeoneering and kid amnesia exhibition and on top of that pcsx2 reaching another milestone great to see emulators thriving on all ends it's yuzu's making a lot of progress as well so a lot of things going on in the emulation world right now that's gonna do it for me let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video. To remedy that situation, make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out